Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am very excited to talk about this next, next film. It's Dawn of the Deaf, and I'm happy to have uh, Jed Shepard here and Haley Bishop from the film. Welcome both of you to the show. Thank Hi, you. It's good to be here, yeah. Joe. I, you came from a little, a little far away based on that accent. Yeah, from London. Yeah. Um, so it took me a while to, to get here in an Uber, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Uber, yeah, the yeah. Uber copter. Uh, <laughs> we had that last year. It lasted like a, like two days. That mountain surcharge is, is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten a little. Every now and then we're like, okay, this is like five times more than it was about ten minutes ago. Yeah, yeah it's worth it though because Sundance is is incredible. Mm -hmm. You got to get around, yeah, and and you guys are having a good time. Now uh, we wouldn't know Haley Bishop came uh, across the pond either, no. except uh, that we know that because she told us. Exactly. No yeah. accent. No, I'm, I am American, but I live over there now. But you know, I hear it a little bit. Is when it you said out? American. Oh, yeah. good. It's, yeah. uh, I'm starting to kind of pick it up as I've been there. She's not like the most American person I've ever heard. Right. <laughs> Until an English person does an American accent, and yeah. you're like, oh my gosh. And it sounds like that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh my, see? I knew you it. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you're working on it, though. Can you pull it off? An English accent. There we we're go. Trying to, yeah, I think so. Oof, wow. It's getting good. Seven practice. on ten. Oof, we're getting there. Seven yeah, it's still early. <laughs> We've got to warm up still a little bit. You see, there's the little, those little things, seven on ten instead of seven out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. In the queue, in the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Courgette, you know. Right? These little, you know, right? like that, these yeah. little differences. Had to learn. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. We're right. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question, though. Is there an accent in, in, uh, in ASL? Oh well, well, actually, because it's set in, in London, it's actually BSL. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. American. Um, yes, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, the deaf audience in America will probably not understand a single thing <laughs> uh, that's going on. But we have subtitles, and um, so they can kind of read it. Um, but we don't design it just for the deaf community. It's it's a, a film open to all. Yeah, so it's for hearing people and deaf people. And we've c tried to come up with a way to make it um, kind of inclusive mm -hmm. for all people. Yeah. yeah. Um, the yeah. focus isn't necessarily on what's being said. It's about the relationships between the characters and that how that moves the story forward. So you don't need to know how to sign either BSL, ASL, yeah. um, or here. And uh, I take it you did learn how to sign, or you knew how to sign already? I, I learned, yeah. I wish I knew how to sign already, but I did. We had an interpreter who worked with us for about two months before we actually started shooting, and so we would, um, he taught us our lines and sign, and then we actually had to um, you know, send him videos every week, and he would correct us, because it was really important to us to make sure that we did it justice, and mm -hmm. you couldn't tell. Right. Yeah, yeah, wow. so hopefully, I mean, yeah. fingers crossed we did. <laughs> Tell me why you decided to make this film. You know, there's a, the genre has certainly a lot of attention over the last yeah. few years. So um, the director, Rob Savage, I, I'm the writer. Uh, Rob Savage, he is just an absolute genius, just a, like a prodigy. Mm -hmm. And um, he's forever asking me for ideas. I'm like the ideas guy. So I shoot off a hundred different film ideas, like, like throughout the last couple of years. And there was one he was always going back to. Tell me about that Dawn of the Deaf idea again. Um, and I'm like, well, it's about um, a sound that kills all hearing people, and only the deaf survive. Um, and they have to band together to survive in a kind of post-apocalyptic um, London. Um, but they also have the added uh, pressure of having to deal with zo zombies. So it's kind of deaf people versus zombies. In, yeah. in the most tasteful way possible. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> seems that London has the biggest uh, potential problem for zombies. Yes, yeah. there's so <laughs> many yeah. places to hide. Why? It <laughs> seems that that's an issue. Yes, yeah. so, I mean, 20 days later, 28 weeks later. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are just so careless and reckless over there. No. What is going on? You know, I, know. I don't know. We better get on that. We should <laughs> we really, talk really to somebody should. about yeah. that. It should be a documentary. That <laughs> <laughs> Why is it London? You know, uh, what makes, uh, all right, so I, I'm guessing when you can't hear them coming, this is what is uh, an awfully scary part of this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I've been a student of horror for my entire life, and especially zombie films. I know uh, zombie films have been done to death over the done yeah. to death <laughs> done to death over the that years. That was nice. Timeless plug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Freudian slip. Um, and uh, so it's it's really hard to kind of find a u unique way to do a zombie film mm -hmm. um, because no one wants to see it. it's just a stumbling zombie across the screen and and just someone kills it. So we thought of a, a more interesting way. I mean, this wouldn't be made unless it was an interesting take on the on the zombie yeah. subgenre. And um, we think having it from the, from the deaf point of view, from, from the deaf community's point of view, it's a completely unique angle that no one's ever touched before. And luckily, the deaf community have embraced it, mm -hmm. and um, all the festivals we've done around the world have equally embraced it, and it's, it's an incredible roller coaster. And 
Yeah. Hopefully it never stops. Yeah. I'm glad they have embraced it, but I, I imagine uh, for them this is a nice thing to see, to finally see their community recognized in film, because it seems that they are very under-recognized. It's true, um, and that's why uh, it's important that the, the short um, that we've made gets made into a feature, and mm -hmm. we're currently uh, trying to get it made into a feature, and there's positive steps towards that. Um, and we will use, most likely, an all-deaf cast. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Hayley. Um, okay. She can be a zombie. No. Yeah, Sorry. I've already talked to them to that I get to die yeah. within the first 10 minutes as a zombie. And well, that works. I've been practicing my zombie walk, too. Yeah. So. She can be okay. an American zombie. Yeah. A little foot drag. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we, yeah, we want to keep her in the film. Yeah, okay. exactly, yeah. 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 But the, t the tension does come from the fact um, the actors can't hear, but the, the audience watching um, can see and hear zombies coming towards the characters. And mm. um, yeah, it's just got a yeah. great response so far. Well, I want to look at the trailer because uh, we've got much more to talk about. Yeah. Uh, again, the film is Dawn of the Deaf. Wow. So uh, have we seen some uh, folks uh, at the screenings that are deaf here in, in um, Utah? I don't know in, in, in uh, Sundance, but um, in, in London, yeah, there's been For tons sure. of uh, great feedback. Um, one of the lead actors in, in the film, um, Stephen, he is a deaf person, and he's an incredible actor. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I said, when we make the feature, we'll have uh, a full deaf cast. Mm -hmm. Um, and it'll be great because you don't see um, this kind of community represented in film at all. At all, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's, and, and they've not complained about it, which is no. interesting. No. Yeah. I have to say that's kind of a, that's sort of, sort of a nice welcome thing almost, that they, yeah. you know, we should be representing them, yeah. yet they've been uh, patient, I, I think, I mean, if, I, if nothing else. I guess if they first see the title, they might think it's a parody or something, or right. we're kind of like taking the mick out of them. Uh, but then they kind of watch it and they're just blown away by, by the respect we have mm -hmm. um, and the insight we have into, into the deaf community. Yeah, well, there was another English part you've got to get, uh, taking the mick out of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. heard that yeah. one. Uh, I would ask uh, Haley, but uh, did you, are you fluent at this point? No. Can you, can you invite that, the community to come and see it in, in BSL? I don't know. Um, I unfortunately am not fluent not yet. I'm yeah. yeah. working I think on it, but. Do some lines in, in sign language. Just Oh, I can't do it now. I wouldn't, <laughs> this one now would be. I feel like there would be. Okay. <laughs> I, I know. I was about to put her on the spot. This might actually be offensive. <laughs> <We're trying laughs> now to do I don't have to yeah. because you did. Yeah. <laughs> so well yeah. done. I've learned. The, I learned the the ones that count. The yeah. fun, the the, fun the, ones. The swear words. Yeah. Yeah. Those are important to we know. We all know the swear words yeah. in, in sign, which I won't do on camera. Yeah. I've seen a few of them before. I really. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. One I of our actors. I don't know why. I don't know what I do. One of the actors actually that the male lead essentially in the film, he is a BSL interpreter, so he was fluent, so he's wow. also kind of taught us actually. And to make things, sure that things were done correctly. Yeah, sure it was a nice, part of that. He, exactly. What, uh, when we talk about uh, you taking this on uh, to the next level, th this is a short, it runs in program, which program? It's in short program three. Three, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and of course the hope is to, to make a feature here. What uh, is the progress there so far and, and, and the buzz for that? Are you feeling like you're on your way? I mean, because we played all the, all the, the major festivals around the world, there's, there's been a lot of buzz bit of a hype train around it before we got here. In fact, this was going to be the last uh, festival on the stop, but because Sundance raises a lot of kind of attention, we're in a bunch more and for the next Just few like months. That. So yeah, Sydney and... Um, You're flying all over the world. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, but it's great to see like deaf audiences from around, around the world and how they react to the film. Well, Jed, we hope you pick up an in uh, a uh, accent uh, in Australia as yeah. well. <laughs> so working on that. Uh, yes. We know Haley well yeah. because Can she's... Can I just give a quick shout out to the Monkey Tennis course. Podcast and to Annie Hardy in LA, um, and the rest of the cast and crew from Dawn of the Death. Yeah, we wish they were all here. Yeah. It'd be fun yeah. to have everyone here. But I'm looking forward to bringing you back when you guys are a feature. I think it's going to be uh, just uh, amazing, and I know you'll be back. We'd love to come yeah. back. Yeah, we'll do a full yeah. length. When can we see it? When will you screen again? Um, the short film? Yeah. Um, it's been played Saturday, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, uh, Shorts Program 3, alongside some other great short films. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah, really amazing. Good, no, Series 3, that one's a really it's good one. Yeah. There, there's a particular short called Night Shift, which blows my mind. Yep. Oh, God, watch that. Had yeah. them here yesterday. Mm -hmm. and oh, awesome. Some of my favorites. Uh, yeah. yeah, some great people in that yeah. film. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Kairos and... Uh, uh, Cisco and so many really good actors. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. amazing. Really, well, really good. Uh, as uh, thrilled as I, I am about Night Shift, I feel the same about your film, Donna oh, Steph. Really sweet. Thank I'm you. I'm looking Joe. forward to seeing it this weekend. Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Thank you both so very Thanks much for being me. here. Yeah. Uh, you're going to want to check out Donna the Deaf as well. Make sure that you get to Series 3. It's on Saturday. Take a look. I om I'm almost certain there's still tickets available because, fortunately, lots of people leaving before Saturday. We've yeah. got red carpets here on the Mountain Morning Show. You won't want to miss that I either. We'll be back right after this.